far when ready. So Grand Moff Tarkin here is a digital character based off of a real performance that you have on set. What is your feeling going into this movie, bringing an actor back from the grave? I think now if we did it, it'd be very different techniques. But back then, they have to wear the stupid helmets. Mm -hmm. And despite what anyone says, it limits your head movement. Yeah. The other thing that was super interesting about it is the lighting was different to A New Hope. You know what I mean? We weren't emulating the cinematography of A New Hope. And what happened is when ILM started comping shots, they'd do exactly what was there in the HDRIs and you just go, hmm, what's, what's not right? The lighting on A New Hope is so embedded in your brain, that's kind of what he looks like. And we had to dial the CG and to like cheat what was there on the day and be a bit more like the lighting of A New Hope. And then it started to go, oh, that's Tarkin. It was a very strange thing, because you'd think the face would work in any situation, but no, in a different lighting setup, that's Peter Cushing. But in this kind of lighting setup, that's Tarkin. And we were trying to get Tarkin.